In the cities and the towns, on the edges of the busy roads, shoved in hard between Greek takeaways and Indian dairies, or side by side with the struggling family bakery, and the real estate agents where for years had been a foursquare, with drip tiled white signs painted straight onto the glass. Fresh fish, napper, cod, wareho, cooked while you wait, hot dogs, fried mussels, family packs. And on the bricks next to the door, and up on the faded awning in permanent letters, red and white, fish and chips. There's a rhythm to the days in the fish and chip shop. Sometimes it's slow, faint, like the soft hiss of passing cars in the rain. At other times, the rhythm is fast, like the sound of bubbling oil. I think this play is really important um, for people in New Zealand and people in Howick in particular because I think you know New Zealand still does have a lot of um, not overtly racist undertones and people um, don't always understand that you know racism isn't always you know name calling and physical violent attacks it can be very subtle and um, very hard to spot and just because you know someone is a kind of an undercover racist it doesn't mean they're a bad person altogether um, and I think more people need to um, be open to the idea that possibly they might still be treating immigrants, Chinese people, as other people, other, um, and you know, entertain the idea that we do still need to work towards being more open and supportive and um, welcoming of others. Um, I think in New Zealand, the idea of the Kiwi identity is conflated with um, a Pākehā identity. I've wanted to do this play because um, it's, you know, it's got a Chinese character as the main character, one of the main characters, and I just thought, you know, when else am I going to have the chance to star in a play? So, might as well audition. And here I am with a huge role. I just think um, this is an amazing piece of New Zealand writing. It's an amazing story, and I just feel privileged to be part of it. Uh, yeah, I think it's um, the process in itself uh, is massive learning curve. Um, I think for me it'll be the ability to adapt um, quite quickly also, uh, taking on um, not only a heavy role in the sense of the main characters but having also the added um, kind of factor of all these other different roles involved. really uh, believe in New Zealand stories and and telling the stories of New Zealand um, even though I'm an Englishman myself um, I've done three New Zealand plays now and I've found all of the writing um, poignant and very to the point and as the people um, succinct in their discussions and their understanding of the social issues around the subjects that they confront. Um, as far as Two Fishes and a Scoop is concerned, uh, it's, it's written um, a good 10 to 15 years ago, um, but I think still um, I've brought it into a modern age and I think the stories and the issues that it confronts are still relevant to today and still happening to today um, in today's society here in New Zealand. Um, and I believe it's a fantastically written piece. Um, I do like Carl Nixon's writing um, and I do like the subject matter. When it comes to the issue of the Asian community within New Zealand, the fact that many of them have been here a lot longer than I, um, but still I'm considered more Kiwi than an Asian person, um, which I don't know, 
can be quite annoying when you talk to others and they talk about the immigrants, you know. And I sit in front of them and say, well, actually, I'm an immigrant. Yeah, 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 but. And it's, it's that but that concerns me about certain sections of society here in New Zealand. Um, and in most of the world, we still have these prejudices, not open, some hidden, but I think this play confronts them in a very subtle way um, and will make audiences think quite seriously about the way they will speak about Asian drivers or the Asian community. Um, there was also a lot of other issues um, around obesity and being outsiders of the, what we would call, or what some would call normal society. Um, and that's where, you know, I think it's a very relevant piece and really worth seeing here in today and in Howick um, as a, a really, really good piece. It also is very, very funny. Um, and the actors have a very hard time playing all their characters that they do. One playing five and another playing 11 characters. Um, so, yes, they have a hard time with that, but they're doing a really, really great job.